Hello Catamounts, I'm Monica Packworth and I'm Ariel Reimer and welcome to Channel 62 News. Coming up we'll explain how we finally might be able to beat App, a dance marathon update and an interview with the writer, producer and star of the show Nothing But Young, Kaya Wright. This is Channel 62 News. WCU's first ever dance marathon is quickly approaching. However, it is not too late to still get involved. On February 18th at 6 p.m. in the Blue Ridge Ballroom, there will be a dance marathon benefit dinner. The dinner will include a silent auction with items including Disney World tickets, gift cards, and much more. On February 26th, join Dance Marathon in its first 5K run. The event will begin at 2 p.m. and the first 75 participants will receive a free t-shirt. Don't forget that the main event is March 10th, and to become a dancer and attend the event, you can register on orgasync.com or stop by the Dance Marathon office in the third floor of the University Center in the Office of Leadership and Student Involvement. Please get involved with Dance Marathon this year at WCU. These children we are working to help truly are miracles, and now we have the opportunity to be a miracle for them. WCU has recently signed on to participate in a three-week national energy conservation competition, but is making the competition more interesting by making it also an individual challenge with Appalachian State University. Beginning this past Monday, Western will measure which residence hall saves the greatest percentage of energy and how the percentage of reduction compares to other universities participating. Some things that you can do to help is unplug items that are being used when you leave the room, like cell phone and computer chargers. Be sure to turn off lights and your TV and take shorter showers. All of this is being done to bring energy awareness to WCU, reduce our energy usage, and hopefully to beat our rival Appalachian State. Should college athletes be paid to play? Should they be able to earn money from the usage of their likeness, such as the use of their pictures, names, or the sale of their jerseys, or is it the fact that they are receiving a free education as compensation? Western Carolina wants to hear your opinion. Monday, February 20th at 4 p.m. in the UC Theater, former North Carolina Supreme Court Justice Robert Orr will be speaking about paying college athletes, improper benefits, and NCAA procedural rights for student athletes. The event is open to the public and anyone who has an opinion on the current state of college athletics are encouraged to attend the event. If you have any questions, contact Todd Collins, Intern Director, at tcollins at email.wcu.edu. Nothing But Young is a student-produced TV show. Here is Kathleen Kaiser with the writer, producer, and star of the show, Kaya Wright. Hi, I'm Kathleen Kaiser, and I'm here with Kaya Rice, writer and star of the new series, Nothing But Young. Thank you for coming, Kaya. Thank you for having me here. So tell me, what exactly is the show about? Nothing But Young takes place on a college campus called Woodland University, um, and it's basically about the real-life issues of college students and about like life in general. Um, it's about five college friends, uh, Joey, Karen, Marcus, T, and Monique, and they all have different personalities, which brings like a comedy setting to the mm -hmm. show, so I hope some people get some good laughs out of it. Yeah. So where'd you get the inspiration to write about that? The inspiration kind of just came to me when I was 15. Um, the idea of a college campus and college friends came to me and I went with it. I started writing. Next thing I knew, I had like 13 episodes written. So. Wow. <laughs> did you ever think you'd get a chance to see it all come to life? I did not. It was kind of like a teenage dream for me. So to actually see it coming to life here was never something I thought would ever happen. To yeah. <laughs> yeah. What have been some of the highlights since you started shooting it? Just being involved, uh, being able to work along with other students who have a passion for acting, filming, et cetera, like, it's really been a lot of fun. It's been challenging, too, mm -hmm. but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. So have there been any unforeseen challenges since you started? Yes, it has. Just being in college, you have a lot of schedule conflicts and stuff, but we seem to still work it out at the end of the day, so. That's yeah. good. <laughs> so tell me about the premiere last week. The premiere went pretty good. We had a good turnout, better than I had thought it would be. Mm -hmm. um, we had food available. We had prize, it, prize giveaways, um, and everyone seemed to enjoy it. We had some good feedback after the show was over. So Good, good. So I believe you brought a clip from the show. Yes, I did. All right, let's have a look. Uh, my bad <laughs> was getting you caught and all, <laughs> but it's done now. <laughs> How's the ankle? Oh, 
It's doing good. Not much pain at all. That's good. Uh, Cause I am tired of hearing Marcus going around campus saying she walked with a limp. She walked with a limp. You <laughs> and me both. It doesn't get any more embarrassing than that. I don't know. The story of you falling flat on your face in front of a group of guys sounds quite embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry to bring that up again, but okay, just saying. so I haven't had a lot of luck lately. Right. Well, um, uh, I'm gonna go study in my room. I don't want any of your bad luck to rub off on me or anything. <laughs> wait, I gotta tell you something. What? What? Wait. <laughs> Are you serious, T? No, Are you serious? Go. Okay, cool. And good luck. All right. Got it? Good uh -huh. luck. Okay, cool. Um, I'll be giving you back. Don't worry about that. I will definitely be getting you back. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Well, that certainly looks like an exciting show. Thank you for coming, Kaya. Thank you for having me. Tune in to TV62 Monday at 9 p.m. for new episodes of the series Nothing But Young. Now back to the news. Worm weather is right around the corner, and for some it means going deep sea fishing, but for others in the Kulawi area, it means fishing in the Tuckasegee. The Tuckasegee chapter of Trout Unlimited meets the first Tuesday of every month at United Community Bank on Highway 107 at 6.30 p.m. Trout Unlimited is a national organization committed to conserving, protecting, and restoring North America's cold water fisheries and their watersheds. More information can be found at orgsites.com forward slash nc forward slash tctc or you can contact Richard Elkelman at richardalan1 at frontier.com. All right, catamounts, don't go away. When we come back, we'll have a sports update for you. On February 5, 2012, the Western Carolina Catamounts signed 17 players for next year's football season. Eddie Sullivan is a standout among the signees. The redshirt sophomore is a transfer from Marshall, where he served as the Thundering Herd's backup quarterback. With only one win last year coming against Mars Hill, the only way to go is up for new head coach Mark Spear and his upstart Catamounts. I'm Ryan Keyes for 62 News. Dr. David O. Belcher will officially be installed as Western Carolina's 11th Chancellor at 10 a.m. Thursday, March 29th. Building up to the installation, there will be a week of events starting on Sunday with the Valley of the Lilies Half Marathon and 5K, sponsored by WCU School of Health Sciences and Department of Campus Recreation and Wellness. On Monday, there will be the Belcher Open. The Belcher Open, which is a disc golf tournament, will begin at 5. The week doesn't end with the installation Thursday morning. All day Thursday, you can rediscover the Wii with a free concert in the Bardo Fine and Performing Arts Center. Learn more about the new campus trails and for only $4, get all you can eat in Courtyard Dining Hall. For more information, go to wcu.edu forward slash installation or you can add the event on Facebook. Thanks for watching, Catamounts. I'm Ariel Reimer. And I'm Monica Papworth. Have a great day.